right around your avatar, in old versions of Marvelous Designer, simply right click and rotate around the avatar. Up, down, left, right. And to zoom, one would use the middle mouse button to zoom in and out. And to move and pan, hold down the middle mouse and pan around. Now in Marvelous Designer 7, you can control how you move around the avatar, not just with your mouse, but with controls too. So if we right click in the 3D garment window, and we go to Camera Properties, Default Camera, you can see as I move around the avatar, the numbers here change. As I zoom in, this increases. As I go overhead, this changes. So if you want to change how you look at the avatar without having to rotate around her, and maybe it's difficult for some reason, the simulation is slow and sometimes it can be tricky to rotate to a specific view when things are slow and sort of jerky, then you can use these settings here to control the zoom, the field of view, and the rotation. You can also save out cameras, so if you like this particular angle and you want to have that as a preset which you can load in, maybe you want to render all your clothes from this particular view from on top to see what they look like, and all your clothes from this exact side angle, well you can do that by saving out the camera and then opening that camera next time and it will snap to that view and you can then make a screenshot or save out a screenshot using the file menu. Now, aside from the camera controls, we also have custom views in Marvelous Designer 7. So if I right-click anywhere in the 3D garment window, and I choose Custom View, this Custom View box will pop up. Now, let's say we have rotated her to an angle like this, which we like, and we want to save that angle. Well, you can click this button here, this camera icon, to create a snapshot of a custom view. If you want to rename the custom view, just click once, and you can say, um, left top angle 1 or whatever you want to call it. Then if you rotate to another angle you can save another snapshot and there you can see we have another custom view. And now let's say we went totally beneath her somewhere that we got lost and we're like oh I'd love to get back to that view. So you can just double click on it and there you snap back to that view. You double click on this one you snap back to that exact view too. You can see, like in the image, her legs are cut here, and here we can see too, her legs are cut, her head is cut, her head is cut like that too. Now if I were to decrease my Marvelous Designer window, and let's say zoom around her, and then double click on that, as you can see, even at a smaller window size, it snaps back to that exact kind of position of the head cut and the legs cut like that. And if I were to shrink the window and make it much longer, but narrower, and then rotate around to a different position, and then double click on that custom view. You can see it's still cutting the legs and the head, and now it's also cutting the hand a bit just because there's no space for the hand. She was centered in the center of this window when the view was taken, oh, almost center, so it's still trying to center it the same way. I expand this out, you can see she moves with it. Now if you like this view and you want to use it in another project, simply click this button here, to save out a custom view, viewpoint, give it a name, save it in some folder, and then when you want to load it in, just click that, and it will come in, and then you can jump to that view in any project that you have. Now since the views are camera viewpoints, it works with any avatar, so even with a different avatar, if I double click on that custom view, it will rotate the camera to look at the avatar in the same way. Her head is cut, her feet are cut, just like with the other avatar. If you want to hide the custom views, it's best you click here to show and hide the custom view, because if you click this button here, it's um, very difficult to get that custom view back. So even when I show it, it's like, where is it? It's hiding there. There's a thin black line up there where it is, but I can't get it back. And if that happens and you can't get it back, well, I don't know, maybe there's a different way to get it back, which I haven't discovered, but so far the only way i found to get it back is to close the program and then reopen it again. And then after reopening it, if you show custom view, it will pop up there. You can also grab this box and move it anywhere around the program that you want, and even out of the program. But again, even if you moved it out of the program, the moment you click this arrow here, it's going to become this thin black line and you just 
can't get it back. So remember, best to just show and hide it by right-clicking and checking or unchecking this option here. Alright, so that's about custom views and I hope this tutorial helps.